If it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how goes our plan? Because I couldn't call it PostYourTittyPicsHere.com. I just wanted a site that would fly under the radar of the uninitiated. So I made it sound like a community safety website. But the next thing you know, people were actually watching their neighbors and then posting pics of them changing and shit. I'll admit, I screwed up there. Me and Maddie are cousins. She'll never admit it, though. She pretends she doesn't know me most of the time. It's fine, though. I don't particularly like her either. But our parents are close, and she gets a lot of shit if she excludes me. Whatever. I'm just here for the free booze. Did you need something? That fucking douchebag. Well, what the fuck? I'm not just going to strip off in the middle of this party with all of these people around. And the cell phone service in this house is spotty at best. I have way too many important text messages going on, and I seem to get the best reception here. Figure that shit out if you want a titty picture of me. What? Oh no. The house came mostly furnished already. It was really strange. There were all these peepholes in the walls that I had to fill in. What the fuck? I have like no cell signal. Is there anywhere in this house that has decent coverage? It was the most touching film since that one where the cowboy has to eat his pet goat to stay alive. Believe me, I'm so bad about holding on to expired things. <laughs> Look, but don't touch, sweetie. What? I canceled that free trial. Ugh, the cell phone service sucks here. There has to be a spot in this house with better service. God damn it, no signal again. I need to try another spot. School. It's going fine. What the fuck? I have like no cell signal. Is there anywhere in this house that has decent coverage? This is what you guys call a party? If it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how goes our plan? No way, bra. Thanks for tipping me off to it. Frank's got it all on lockdown, and I need to keep my buzz on. Did you need something? Oh yeah, it looks like nobody else is around. I guess this is your chance. Okay, tell me what to do. If you're on a short leash, what should I do? If you're on a short leash, what should I do? I suppose you're right. Frank better fucking come through. 
You're on a short leash. What should I do? Okay, how should I pose? You're on a short leash. What should I do? You're pushing things way too far, dude. Fuck this. I'm done. Take what you got and get me a fucking drink. It's sexy shit, dude. Derek and Madison? I don't think so. Fuck yeah, dude. I can't believe you pulled it off. You get one free pass. Make it a good choice. I'm keeping this camera, though. I'll be the first to say it. We looked better in Alpha. I'm worried about Brittany. I wish she'd stop worrying about her looks. There's not a single girl that wouldn't trade tits with her. It's not that you guys have to be comp- How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? You've shown your loyalty to me. And loyalty? should be rewarded. Here, go nuts, dude. But I want that back and jam-packed with as many pics of people's floppy fuck bits as possible before I head out. But if you fail me, all they'll find of you is your floppy fuck bit, dude. If you see Patrick... How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Did you see the poster in my room? Yeah, that's my drink, baby. Soon, Spandex Daddy will be a distant, blurry memory. But the grumps, on the other hand, I'll never be able to drink away the fun I could have had tonight. Though, since you've shown you can take direction pretty well, I put your probability of making a satisfying fuck puppet at about 75%. Did you need something? I'm glad you asked. I feel like I'm the only one who had to show a little skin to get a drink, and if there's one thing I hate more than Stephanie, it's being treated unfairly. I think it's your turn to show off. If you can manage to flash everybody here at the party, then maybe I'll use you for a little fun. Just don't forget who's in charge here. Did you need something? Nice! My turn! Gah! Woo! Okay, have you ever heard of the game Grumps? It's this awesome online show hosted by these guys, Aaron and Dan. They play games and talk about all kinds of shit while they play. They're borderline psychopaths, but it's like my favorite content on the internet by far. And they're having a live show tonight. That's the thing. My BF and I were gonna pop in and say hi to everyone here before making a graceful GTFO and bike over to the actual party we wanted to go to. The Game Grumps live show. 
But then I saw his wrinkly balls and spandex, and now he's gone AWOL, just rode his greasy gooch to Game Grumps Live without me and with both of our tickets. And I'm stuck here waiting for the Game Grumps live stream to start, all while sending a million middle finger emojis to my boyfriend. If there's a silver lining, the grumps are dropping into their live show via hot air balloon. After studying the wind patterns for tonight, it looks like they'll be floating right over this very house on the way. At least I'll get to see them pass overhead as they leave my ass behind. Yay me! Just leave me with this booze, I'm gonna go have a hardcore wallow for… ever. And the other thing about Spandex Daddy is the smell after a long ride. You know those scenes in war movies that show the battlefield, but it's like the next day, and those bodies have just been cooking in the sun? And you know, just because of how the human body works, that like most of them have shit themselves dead? Sorry, I still need time to fester over this on my own. Find me in a bit. You've been up to. Hey again, how's it going? Oh my, how did you do that? I guess it doesn't matter. Not only does that take the focus off my top, but that's kind of hot. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go get my dance on. It's not that you guys have to be completely sober. It's that I don't want you getting too wasted to try my new product. Come take a look. Don't know that. I read like 10 books on how to meet people and I get to do things for the people that I know. Yes, I did, Ashley. And I'd like to think Pappy was smiling down from heaven when I paid his secretary and his milkmaid to kiss each other. If it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how goes our plan? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Oh, you mean that paint-by-numbers painting of an owl? That's Madison trying to prove she's an artist. Because all the great painters of the world started off by painting something that was already drawn, right? What's going on? Good to see you again. I'm here with Sensei Frank. I'm not with Sensei Frank, but I'm like his second in command. We run things, you know. We're keeping this party safe and alcohol free for some reason. I'm not just about keeping this fit. I'm about turning my body into a weapon. I got big plans with this body of mine. I'm going to open a self-defense studio and everything. When people see the way I look, they'll come running, and then they'll send people running. I don't. I'm here for work. Security, you know. But I think I've seen that blonde chick with them big titties at the gym. There's something about her. I've definitely seen her before. Hey, how's it going? Um, we're not friends? Maybe you didn't get the memo. But the couches are really comfy. 
be? Wanna dance with me? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. All right, you counted down. That means you actually have to meet. What the fuck is wrong with me? Door does not mean I won't go to see a solid pair of tits. I once ran. Hello again. But when I came to, she was gone. I somehow forgot what my parents looked like. I swear, I read like 10 books on how to meet new people, and they all pretty much say the same shit. Don't be a weirdo. Hey again, are you lost? Scoutmaster Diego. Hey, I'm drunk and you're not so drunk And I'm gonna get more drunk Hey there, buckaroo Did you come to drink away your sadness with me? You mean like buy another ticket to a sold out show? Not gonna happen I'm nimble Maybe I could splinter cell my way up to the roof and watch from the air vents but I probably wouldn't have a signal in the air vents. No signal. In the air! Look, it's a shot in the dark, but if you can find something to jam wireless connections, I think I've got a pretty good idea. An idea born out of revenge, fueled by rum, and completely free of spandex. Signal jammer. See if you can find one. We're gonna jam them up! Jamming the grumps! You actually found the signal jamming device and this Cracker Jack still pays for cable house, huh? I'm impressed. I thought I was gonna have to build one out of the tech in Patrick's not-so-well-hidden briefcase. Surely Madison picked up this gadget to screw with Ashley. Give me a second to recalibrate the jammer's capacity. I'll change the conduction parameters to amplify the... Who am I kidding? You're not going to understand a word of this. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. This signal jammer should now be able to reach the altitude of the grump's hot air balloon. There's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today. Oh, it's almost time! They'll be coming our way any moment. I'm gonna find a computer so I can work my magic. You get outside and turn this thing on. Remember not to wander around too much. We talked about this, or maybe we didn't, but it doesn't matter. We're bringing that hot air balloon down to this backyard. We're jamming signals and drinking rum and learning about hot air balloon trajectory systems from a manual I found on a weird part of the internet. The game grumps are coming here, live, so get your ass out there while I man the computer. Jam them grumps up! Well, well, looks like some fellow black hat already got past the password. Whoever they are, they better not fly too close to the proverbial sun. One day you're cracking passwords for fun. Next thing you know, you're in a prison for... <clears throat> I digress. We're up and running. Now jam those grumps. Ugh, the jammer's throwing an exception! You're not in range, you scuzzlord! Haven't you ever seen a spy movie? The closer you are to your target's route, the better chances that jammer will do its job! Reboot it and move into position quick! Come on, Agent 69! It's working! It's really working! 
Don't you turn off that jimmer until we see asses in the grass! Art is a tricky thing. My parents always taught me to come at every piece of work with an open mind. Should have been planned so much better. Hey, are you Chet? We were supposed to talk to a Chet after we made landfall. Look, I don't mean to be a dick, but there was definitely supposed to be some kind of large cushion to catch our fall out of that balloon. That was like a 20 foot drop, Chet! Now I have clicky knees, Chet! Wait a minute, Aaron. This doesn't look like BJ Scooter's tabletop gaming and buffet. Shit, man, I think we goofed our airdrop. We may have a level 69 goof on our hands. Shit. Are we sure? Maybe BJ Scooter's is like a hip, trendy backyard gastropub with a, like a house party theme. Like the game House Party. Damn these clicky knees, I can't even think straight. Man, we gotta get Brent on the phone. Or Vernon, or Avi, or... Oh God, Aaron, our phones are still in the balloon! Oh, and it's completely taken off without us. That is, that is what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. God damn those things! They don't have engines, they don't have wings! It shouldn't work! It's a basket in the sky! You, not Chad, give us your phone. We're already really late for Game Grumps Live, and as lovely as lovelies are, they will eat each other if they have to wait much longer. It's true. You should have seen the carnage in Minneapolis. No phone? What are you, uh, Amish? Well, how about you boodle boodle up out of this party and get us to Game Grumps Live, okay? Please, can you do that for us? 
could probably get into some shenanigans around here. But you have to understand, Aaron and I have been saving our shenanigans all week. We've used chicanery. We might have some tomfoolery. I feel like I'm about to bust a big old shenanigan nut in a minute. <laughs> Let's go inside, Dan, and see if we can get out of here. Did you need something? Hey, whoever's fucking with the internet, I want to talk to you. Come on, I'm on the roof of the gazebo. Let's make a deal to get that sweet, sweet internet back up and running. <laughs>